Mm -hmm. Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is that time of day when we take just a short break from our hectic schedule to talk about art. My name is Jenny Lynn James, and I'm an artist who enjoys painting in acrylic. I paint people, I paint musicians and singers primarily, and I just love to paint. With me today is Lethe, all the way from Tobago in Trinidad and Tobago. Hi, Lethe. Hi, how are you today? Fine, thanks. And thank you so much for joining me today on Art Snack. It's my pleasure. My pleasure. So, Lethe, tell me a bit about your journey as an artist. How did you get started? Well, my first exhibition was at 14 years old. I loved art, always loved art. I felt when, um, when you were in the art room, you were really home. Okay. I loved it so much. I really wanted to do it. And oddly enough, I did not manage to get the results at O levels and A levels that okay. I required. They lost my portfolio and I uh, got an ungraded. Okay. And I so wanted to do it. You know, the passion was there. The drive yes. was there. Yes. So I continued to work. As yes. a student, I continued to exhibit as a student. Okay. And when I left secondary school, St. Yes. Joseph's Convent, Port of Spain, okay. in Trinidad, <laughs> I approached the head of what was then the Creative Arts Center, right? The beginning of it, yes. Mr. Kenwin Critchlow, okay. with my portfolio in my hand. Yes. And I begged him. I said, please look at this. Please, I'll start anywhere you want. I'll start at the certificate level. I don't care. I just have to do art. Okay. And he looked at it and he said, no, you will start in the bachelor's program and you can start tomorrow. Excellent. Right? And so you have that chance. determination, that drive, and you were given the chance based on your on your hard work and your portfolio, literally. Portfolio, portfolio. Yes. He gave Excellent. me a wonderful chance, and I never looked back from there. I Excellent. just threw everything of my heart and soul straight into it. And um, so, tell me a, a little. You said this um, visual arts program. For those who yes. don't know about it, tell me um, about this program. Well, at that time, the program was the guinea pig program, and we were the guinea pigs, right? We were among the first batches of students that actually did this bachelor's mm -hmm. in visual arts. Right? And where was this? It was based at the University of St. Augustine. Right, right? so University we, of the West right? Indies. University of West Indies in St. Augustine. Right, Trinidad. Okay. That's along the east west corridor going right. on there. Yes. Right. And it was literally outside the campus in a tiny, tiny, tiny little um, I don't know, a little house, almost like okay. a gingerbread <laughs> house. Yes. yes. <laughs> right. And next to it was a huge shed, an open air shed. Okay. And we were doing classes right there. Okay, right excellent. on the ground in that shed inside the little gingerbread house. We had another space somewhere around the corner. Right, right. So humble everything. beginnings for this visual art. Humble program. beginnings for okay. this program. While they built the creative arts center. Huge okay. compound, which is a little further up yeah. by Hewling Law School in okay. the back there of St. Right, Augustine. right. And um, they have the program was incredible. It gave you a whole variety of artistic skills yes. and learning in different expressive forms. Yes. Right? And we had some excellent teachers. I'm looking at names like Ainsworth Oved, Edward Bowen, Kenwin Critchlow, right? Really strong artists who gave their gave their love, gave their passion, gave their dedication. Yes, wonderful. And we had an incredible time up there. Yes, incredible good opportunity. Okay. Yes. And so um, thank you so much for sharing your, your journey as an artist with us. Yes. Can you show me some of your work? I see some pieces here. 
Yes, me, yes. Um, what medium you enjoy painting in? Well, I work in acrylics, yes. oils, and I do a lot of mixed media as well. As well. So what okay. you have here is installation art pieces at the back, mm -hmm. and you have my paintings, my abstract paintings. There you mm -hmm. go. So right. this one is acrylic on canvas. Correct. This yeah, is so tell me about canvas. this subject um, and why you painted this piece. Okay, so this the name of this piece is Supergirl. And I did this to represent women for International Women's Day. Okay. So it was on exhibit here in Trinidad and Tobago, right? And it depicts women as they are today. Yes. Strong, tough survivors who are multifaceted, multi-purpose, multitasking goddesses they can handle anything they're that's doing right <laughs> in the kitchen they are raising the kids they're studying late in the night they're protesting they are working their way towards enlightenment mm -hmm. in their own mm -hmm. journeys we are super girls we can do anything yes so that's yes, what this piece is about thank you yes yes, yes it's a wonderful piece of work right now let us see the um the insulation pieces, what um, media, okay. or what did you paint on? What is that surface? All right, actually, these are vinyl cores. And these you will find on the inside of those rolls of vinyl that you create signs and banners with. Okay. They are really just very tough, kind of cardboard, compressed cardboard, yes. I think right yes and what happens is that when they're done all of the advertising agencies or the printers and so when they're done with this this goes straight out into our dumps right. they're very it hard to break it. down yes and so, it doesn't break down easily okay. no correct so what i've done is i've recycled them i've repurposed okay. them so it's yes. a form of 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 trying to save my environment mm -hmm. as well as using materials in a different way Yes. Right, to try and, and repurpose them, recycle them. Okay, right? that's so a great have, idea. <laughs> thank you. Right, we have to do our part to help our to environment. save the environment. I feel. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so these are folklore characters and carnival characters that have come directly from Trinidad and Tobago culture. Yes. Right, and our heritage. Okay. And how they act as an installation is you get to engage with them and you walk all around them and experience this two-dimensional painting on a three-dimensional form. Right? Okay, yes. So it has this presence. So what I like to do is set up different um, mazes mm -hmm. for people to actually walk through and interact with the installation. Right. And they can walk on all sides of the uh, painting. There you go. Okay. Right? It's quite an experience. They also can be hung. I figured out a way to hang them as well. So lights yes. can be suspended through them as well. Okay. So they become this really incredible look. When you see them hanging and yes. lights through them and these characters are telling you all sorts of stories. Uh-huh. Okay. So what's one um, character that you have painted? What's one yeah. character? Yeah, well, just this, pick one of for them. For example, yes. is yes. cow mass here. Cow right? Ooh, yes. Cow mass. Now, we used to do cow mass way back in the day. And okay. this is a character that is becoming extinct now in our carnivals. Uh -huh. Right? So I wanted to do something like that. Yes. Right? This is the Lego who on this side. This is the Laja Bless here yes, on this side. We have <laughs> blue devils on the end there for all yes. those carnival babies. <laughs> right? And we have carnival characters in between here. Right? Right, I like right. to mix it up a little bit and get all the vibes. Yes, yes, wonderful yeah. um, characters. And I like the fact that you can actually walk around the painting yes. to experience them. You can. So that you would can. be great fun for viewers and at an art show. So what um, shows do you have at present and what's coming up? All right. Well, 
right now I have work in an ongoing show at the Rotunda Gallery in Trinidad. Yes. And that's the same abstract show that you are in. Yes, so definitely. Your buddy is so, in this. <laughs> yes, so the Rotunda Gallery, for those who don't know, is at the Correct. Parliament Building, the Trinidad and Tobago Parliament. It's a wonderful gallery. And um, just about every month, they would stage an art show on yes. a specific theme. So yes. it's a great gallery. It provides a lot of opportunities for Trinidadian artists to show yes. their work online True. and also in person. Yeah. So besides that, I'm, I'm also an art teacher here. So I work with a secondary school. Yes. And I also work directly with special needs and children in orphanages. We do lots of yeah. art workshops with them. Yes. I have um, two shows coming up in November, right? A small project that I'm not supposed to mention too much. And my own, my own show, which happens next year, me in Trinidad. Okay. So I'm you, have you chosen a venue yet? Yes, I have at uh, NIMS Art uh, Gallery. Okay, yes, yes. 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 I'm hearing right. good things about Arnim, so I, I am to hearing good things as well. Show there myself one day. But this I is will. it. <laughs> this is it. This is this will be the first time I am showing with them. Yes. Throughout the years, I have done the gallery one, two, three, four at Normandy. You remember when mm -hmm. that was open? Yes. I have yes. done. Oh, I've done the Frederick Street Gallery. I've done Softbox. I've done one who won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done there. All okay. right. We're going to see what other people have to offer now. Right, right. right. And I'm hearing wonderful things about Anim. Anim. So I'm good okay. with that. Yes. So look forward to seeing, if, if I'm not in person, seeing it online. Definitely, definitely. Online is the only way to go now. <laughs> it seems so. It seems so. At least yes. more people have access to your work if they can see it online yes so tell the yeah. viewers as we talk about access to your work please tell the viewers how they can see more of your work your, your social media handles your website etc sure 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 you can find my work uh through facebook leafy art l-e-t-h-e-a-r-t leafy yes. art you can find me on instagram leafy art tobago all common letters, oh, all one -E word. Yes. L E T H E A R T T O B A G O. Excellent. Right? Put it here on the video. Definitely. And then um, I have a small website with Art Major. So that would be http two dots slash www dot art major which is a r t m a j e u r dot com c o m slash leafy l e t h e okay excellent and thank <laughs> you for all. spelling it all out in case some have missed it i will also put it in the video well thank, thank you all we have time for today thank you so much leafy it's really awesome. And viewers can also find my artwork at jennylynnjames.com backslash art and on Facebook and Instagram at art by Jenny Lynn James. That's art by Jenny Lynn James. Thanks again. Bye, everybody. Bye. Remember to hit that subscribe button for daily and consistent content. Hope to see you every day. Hit the subscribe button.